Good meets. We had a home meet here. It was the biggest meet that we've ever hosted, and so that was a ton of fun. And um, it was really cool that we kind of opened up a little later than usual than many teams because we wanted to kind of work hard in between indoor and outdoor and set ourselves up for the end of the season really well. Um, and all that really came into fruition in the first race. In our, in our first meet of the year, we had outstanding performances. Elijah ran a 20.8 and qualified for nationals. So did Sierra in the 200. And, and those are just two of many, many performances. And one meet, we're into conference, and we get to kind of refocus and focus on our max and last chances and going to nationals. Um, and so that was a really outstanding meet for us. Um, and then we got to head over to CU and just compete with the big dogs. And, you know, we get pretty hyped for that when we get to go against some of the big D1 schools. Um, weather wasn't perfect, but it was great. And, you know, Josie had about a five, four and a half, five inch PR. In fact, when they announced it, I thought maybe uh, they said 5'11 and a quarter, and I watched her clear it. I was like, oh, I wonder if I heard wrong. Did she really just go from 5'7 to 5'11, right? Which is super rare. Um, so she's currently ranked number one in the country, which is an outstanding mark. Um, but we also just got better in all sorts of little increments. Elijah PR'd in the 100, and um, even though there were some headwinds over there, we, we still had some outstanding races. And, um, you know, so far we're set up wonderfully. We've had two meets, and our whole team's into RMAC qualified, and uh, we get to really focus on RMAC and finishing out the season at Nationals. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, so, I mean, it's always been kind of like, it's crazy to me to like really be able to say like, I think I can be a six foot high jumper at this point. Um, Cause I came into the program a five two high jumper. Um, and my first collegiate meet went like five eight. Um, so that was a bit pretty big PR, but I've been working really hard, especially this year and being consistent and just being able to see like all of that come to fruition and being able to go out and jump that and knowing that I think I still have more in the tank and that I can still become like a much better athlete and that I think that there's way more. There's more there that it's at this point, not even the ceiling is what I feel like. Elijah, in incredible form. How much do you take from indoor as far as confidence and, and being an All-American and, and then coming out and setting records? Oh, well, I, gotta, I gotta hold the mic. Um, <coughs> Huh. How do I take the confidence? I feel like I've grown a lot more confidence because once I was able to like go into nationals, I was like, oh, I'm at the biggest meet, you know? Like that's something I need to take like account for. Like that's something super big and it's a blessing to do that. And it took a minute for it to register. Like just everything that I continue to do, it takes a minute for it to register. When I was able to run the 20.8, it took, a, it took me driving to Denver to really register that I did that. You know, I finally broke the barrier of 21, which is I've been wanting to do that. Confidence, outdoors, it's just so simple. It's one single lap, you know? I just, it's so <laughs> simple. I think outdoor is a lot more, it's just my, I would say my bread and butter. Like naturally, I just feel like I'm the best when it gets, when I come to outdoor, indoor as well, but outdoor is like, since everybody's been running in high school, you know, however long you've been running track, you've been running outdoors. So it's just like a natural thing. Um, when I ran the 4x4 at, at CU, like I was terrified, like literally like shaking. But then once I get the baton, it's like nothing can really stop me at that point, you know? So I think that's pretty cool. I think it's just a natural thing with a lot of, obviously with a lot of work and a lot of mental prep for that me and coach always working on mental even even to this day I'm still like coach like I'm freaking out but I'm ready he's like just go do your thing and I'm like yeah I know <laughs> so it's not it's not completely about confidence it's just being ready like you prep for the stuff you prepare for it like every single week you know so it's just hey just go do your thing Whatever you've done at practice, you know if you practice very well, it's gonna it's gonna get correlated to meet day. Just trust yourself. So that's where the confidence comes from. Just self belief. Yeah, self belief is where the confidence comes from. Yeah. For you athletes, having a, already having one home meet, a second home meet, does it give you? Elijah, I can't imagine getting any more energy, but does it give you extra energy being at at, at your home track and not? Not having to travel, you know, and talk talk about having those home meets. For sure. Oh, 
Do I go ahead? Do yeah, I go? Okay. For sure. Because one, you don't get to miss classes. It's frustrating when you miss classes because you have to make up work and you're like, where am I at? But home meet, it's cool seeing people from your school coming and supporting you. You know, people that you don't expect to come and support. You're seeing them, you're like, oh, that is dope. Gives you a little motivation. It's cool. You, when, you hear, when you hear your name, they're screaming, you know, Mesa or Elijah or Josie, you know, it's, it's cool. And you're like, you're looking around and like, oh, we've met a few times. You know, I did not expect you to be here. And for the second meet, I'm really excited because I get to run the 400, finally. <laughs> finally get to run the 400. I'm pretty nervous about it, but I'm super excited. Super excited because I really want to see what I have in the tank because of mental race. It is a mental race and I love it. I, I love pushing through the boundary of being scared and it just drives me. It's exciting. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, like Elijah said, you love the home meets. It's not just the energy, but obviously like the convenience of not having to travel, not miss class, but it's also like, especially for me, like I know this track, I high jump here every week. I know like what my approach looks like. I know what this feels like. It's always like, pretty great weather when we have our home meets um and it's always fun to just come out and compete and kind of you have a little bit of that like you want to defend your turf a little yes. bit so you know you don't want to kind of come and let these other teams just beat you so it almost motivates me more to be able to like go out there and jump higher throw further all of that kind of stuff yeah. coach uh, a lot of new people coming in and Incredible things. Is that kind of friendly rivalry dynamic in practice? Does that kind of show up? Yeah, I mean, I've, trying to one up each other. yeah, absolutely. You know, is uh, you know, we're kind of thinking about it, and, and we've signed some pretty big names this year too. Where, um, you know, for me on the sprint side, getting Elijah here first and kind of having that first domino fall, where Elijah could have chosen kind of any school in D two and several D one schools, and he chose us. And then the next recruiting class, it was, hey, we have Elijah Williams. We have this guy, you know, you want to come compete with this guy? And, you know, next thing you know, we have seven or eight sprinters that are very high level and our practices get very competitive. And, and we'd absolutely do that intentionally. Um, and the same thing with Josie. When Josie came in, we had great high jumpers, right? I mean, we have multiple All-Americans, multiple seven-footers on the guy's side. And then on the women's side, we've had multiple conference all our Mac high jumpers and, and so for her to come in and see that and when Josie got here she Josie was a 5'2 high jumper and in her freshman year she was able to turn herself into a 5'7 now 5'11 and now any girls that we have we actually we've signed a very talented high school high jumper and part of the reason is she knows that she saw what Josie has done um, and so it's, it's absolutely correct that when you start building cool groups and you get a couple you get a couple people to sign and they start doing some cool things and people are able to see their improvement um, it becomes kind of easier and easier to recruit a little bit actually because people want to be here um, and also it makes our groups outstanding we do a lot of competition friday stuff we'll call it and when we get in season we get really competitive on wednesdays we're on the sprint side we time wraps and set up a little board and have school records for workouts and what we've done and um, people want to beat each other and that absolutely makes us good absolutely makes us better no doubt Eating ice cream. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> playing, um, I would say eating ice cream or playing Clash of Clans. I really enjoy Clash of Clans. I probably play Clash of Clans more than I use my social medias, which is crazy. Um, chocolate. It's always chocolate. Cannot get rid of cho chocolate. Yes. I just want to say a uh, shout out to my, <laughs> my teammates and everybody because they really be pushing me. And when I tend to get in my head a lot, Coach knows for sure. I tend to get in my head all the time, and my teammates are always there to help uplift me, even when I don't want to talk to anybody. So shout out to them. Shout out my mom and my family. <laughs> shout out Coach. No, I'll play with you. <laughs> Sorry. I just went on a tangent. I apologize. I'd say um, my favorite kind of off-day activity, I actually go grocery shopping a lot. That's <laughs> I spend a lot of money on groceries just because, like, you know, like part of the reason I think I've also become such a better like athlete and high jumper is I've like worked a lot on my nutrition and making sure that I'm eating yes. better. Um, yes. So, I mean, yeah, I love to go grocery shopping. I like will take my friend, drag her all around. Um, 
But yeah, and I guess I'll give a shout out. I'll give a shout out to Coach Gabe <laughs> because Coach Gabe's been pretty awesome in terms of like he's just he knows like what he's talking about, but he also like is a guy you can just have fun with, mm-hmm. and you know he will push you to get better. But yeah, he's like he's easy. He makes us all laugh all the time. So I'll shout out Coach Gabe. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? But one Sunday every few months, I have a day off, and I think my favorite thing is a Bloody Mary with my wife, and then you play with the kids until you go to sleep. And it's a glorious day for me, stress-free. Awesome. <laughs> yeah.